the latest now on the government shutdown. 25 days in, no solution in sight, and the fallout growing more severe by the minute. This morning, more airports forced to close security checkpoints, leading to scenes like this as TSA workers who are not getting paid call out sick at double the normal rate. ABC Steve Osin Sami is at the world's busiest airport in Atlanta. And Steve, the warning now get to that airport early. You know, airport officials here, George, say that there are a few things that they can control. They can certainly add more people to direct the foot traffic, and they can warn travelers to get here early, which appears to be working. But they say there's little they can do about the TSA workers who fail to show at a few of their security checkpoints. At the world's busiest airport, they're not trying to have a repeat of these pictures. Long lines to security, blamed in part on TSA agents who started calling in sick. The government says twice as many TSA workers are calling in sick than normal, and no wonder. Because of the government shutdown, they're working without pay. The lines are longer than expected, so we'll put two and two together, and it looks as if there may be people calling out. In Atlanta, a number of security lanes are expected to remain closed even during rush hours because of the shutdown. It's one big line because there's not enough TSA. It's chaos out here. This line, I've been here about 15 minutes, and it probably moved about two feet. The airport is telling people to get here three hours before their flights. And they're struggling at airports in cities like Washington, where they've had to close checkpoints. And Miami, where a terminal closed all weekend. In Houston, Terminal B will stay closed today for a third day in a row. Atlanta air traffic controller Jacob James is working with no pay and says he's told his three daughters, no dance class, no soccer or gymnastics for now that few hundred dollars for everything for each each of my daughters it adds up real quick he and other government employees are outside the airport calling for an end to the shutdown robin to give you an exa example of the logistics here there are 27 security lanes and they need all of them open on a monday morning which weren't and they're telling us that this warning for travelers to get here three hours early that warning will last as long as the shutdown Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.